Hello, my name is Reed, and welcome to Inktober Day 10, I believe. Yeah, 10. Yep. Okay, also, if you see that little mark on the page, it's just me being an idiot and putting my brush down when it had a bit of ink on it. So, yeah, I had to kind of improvise and make this section a lot darker. Also, you'll notice that I have a plaster on my thumb. Basically, my thumb, the back of, this, the back of my thumb, all the skin on it has decided to peel off, and it keeps getting caught on everything. So I just put a plaster over it just to stop it from getting caught on the stuff because it was getting very annoying. So today I'm doing the book from Hocus Pocus as well as Binks the black cat and some plain old black candles. I was going to do the black flame candle but it's only in the movie for like two seconds and it's really hard to see plus it's quite detailed and it just it would have been too difficult to do especially considering I did this earlier in the month. Maybe if I did it later in the month, I might be able to do it, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, I've just been sorting out which days I'm going to do all these drawings on, and it's quite fascinating, because I've had to redraw one of them, and I've redrawn it, and now I'm like, okay, that has to be the last one, because it looks the best. It's just so weird how much I've improved over this month and a half that I've been pre um, prepping for October. It's just so weird. I don't know, it's just, it's amazing, like, definitely, but also very weird. Like, at the start, I mean, I still like some of them, like, the, the fairy one on day three, I really like the way that one turned out. It's not my current style, but I still like the way it turned out. But yeah, I think definitely if you guys are wanting to find a style, this is one of the best ways to do it, is just draw a bunch of finalised pieces, not even for Inktober, just do them as a finalised piece, just because or a finalized sketch but uh, yeah it's just it's so you guys will start seeing it soon um although some of them aren't quite out to my current style well, I still kept them in I only got rid of the ones that I really just did not like although I'm struggling not to like just redraw all of them because I just do not have time for that but I kind of want to because some of them are like oh, it's good but it could be better because now I can do better than when I first drew it. So now I'm like, no, Reed, you don't have time to do this. But yeah, that's just what's going on in my brain at the moment. I just really want to get back in there and redraw all of them. And I, because I traced them into my Inktober sketchbook, which has got a pop of paper in it, I can kind of edit them, but it does take a little bit of time and I'm just like, Filming and doing all of this already takes oh, about three hours. You guys don't see any of the stuff that happens before this, but there's a lot more that goes on than just the inking. Even when I don't do the pre the sketch on the same day, there's still a lot that goes into these videos. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do the full Inktober videos, but I do go back to school next week. So, it depends if I get my license or not, um, probably will be the deciding factor on whether I can film or not, but we shall see. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, also, I'm still, my voice is being like, you're sick, but you're not sick, you're just kind of sick enough to have a fucked up voice. You know? So, sorry about that, but, gotta get done. So, I'm just adding in... In the movie, the book panels are all kind of the same, like, they're all the same colour, because it's bound in human skin, and I'm like, if it's bound in human skin, some of them will be darker, and some of them will be lighter, because that's how humans work. Plus, I just wanted to add in a little more visual interest, because otherwise the whole thing will kind of be in one tone. So, that's what I'm doing, but right now it kind of just looks like a turtle, because what I was trying to do is, oh, sorry. What I was trying to do was add a lip because when you sew two bits of skin together there's a bump and that bump will be lighter than the rest of the skin so that would be darker so that's what I was trying to do but it just seems to look like turtle skin. So here I am just brushing over a mid-tone just to kind of make it a little more even because it was kind of looking a little bit like turly really so I was just trying to make it more of a singular more harmonious tone. So there, that's my little surprise. If you watch my first video, you'll see 
all the supplies that I use, it's pretty, like, you can see most of the supplies I'm using, it's not very fancy, it's just whatever. So here I am adding in the stitches and the binding between all the book panels of skin. Now oh, I'm also going over with a small bit of um, ink wash, just to kind of make the lines not so harsh, and also give it more of a 3D effect. Yeah, so. Uh, here I am just darkening out that one panel because I realised it was just a bit too light. So yeah, I think I go over the whole thing. Oh no, I'm going. Oh yeah. So once I went over it with one tone, I found that some of the panels were just a tad too light. So I was just going over those to make them look like they're actually the same as the other ones. Yeah, here I am adding in all the little stitching. In the movie, I'm pretty sure all the stitches go the same way. Like it's pretty nicely stitched, but. I wanted to make it not so... Well, I just wanted to give it a little more visual interest. So I kind of crisscrossed some of them, made some of them on an angle. Basically, I made it look like I had stitched it. <laughs> uh, yeah, just to give it a little more texture and visual interest. Although you can't really tell from far away, you have to kind of look in. So I'm going over it with another very light ink wash because it just it dulls the pencil a little bit. Yeah, so here I am, oh, here I am with a little glitter pencil, pen, 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 it's a pen, and I'm going around the little buckle around the eye. In the movie, it's more of like a bronzy silver, but I didn't have that, and I wanted to keep it more of a grayscale film, uh, uh, grayscale theme. So yeah, I just went over it with it. You can't see it so much in from this angle, because it kind of blends in with the stuff around the eye, but it, it is silver. You can kind of see it here when the light hits it. So here, basically, I couldn't see where the snakes were under this ink because it was quite dark. So I just got my ske original sketch out and just really lightly traced. I don't even trace. I just kind of drew the where the snakes were, and then went over it with the gel pen. You can't see anything at the moment, but you'll see it when my hand moves. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, lighting keeps changing. I was having a bit of a rough day, so. I just got up, had a shower, and then I just got up again and just kind of laid on the floor for a bit because my shoulders were getting really, really tight. So if the lighting changes a lot, that's all that's happening. It's just me taking a break and coming back to it. Because yesterday just wasn't, well, it wasn't, well, yesterday when I filmed this, because as I said, I'm filming this by my time zones, uploading it by the US and UK standard time zones. So yeah, but I just, ugh, it wasn't a good day, but whatever, it's, yeah, it's going to be a better day today, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. So here I'm adding in these kind of, I think they're supposed to be fingers. I couldn't really tell because the book isn't, like, you don't really see the sides of it much. So either it's open or Winifred's got her hand over the side of it or whatever. But basically, there's kind of like these just little ridges on the sides. So yeah, I just drew those in with a little bit of ink wash. This is my second to darkest, maybe my darkest ink wash that isn't pure ink. And then I just drew in the spine, drew in the little, like, the little gap between the binding and the pages. And then coloured in the pages, so it gave it a little more of an older look and just wasn't playing white. I oh, here I am adding in the candles. I'm using pure Indian ink right here. So no, not diluted whatsoever. I might use a little bit of water just to make it spread a little bit easier. But apart from that, it's just Indian ink. Yeah, um, I made three candles. Oh, got a little bit there. Um, yeah, three candles. None of them are the black flame candle, because the black flame candle isn't actually black, it's like a tan skin colour, with like a, I don't know, like a ready tone brown dragon on it. So here I am adding in the wicks, and adding a bit of a, a light, like, just, what's the word, like, uh, signal of light? No. Like, giving the illusion there's a little bit of light. So I'm also giving shadows that don't work, but shh. I just wanted to give it like a more dramatic look. So 
so I gave it more shadows. So yeah, I just gave it this really intense shadow, all of them quite intense shadows with quite a unique angle. So here I'm using a bigger brush because I was an idiot and tried to use the smaller brush. I do that sometimes, I just use the brush I'm still using and forget that it's like a bloody tiny brush. Or it's like a too big of a brush. But yeah, and then I'm darkening up those shadows, shadows to match the book's shadow. And I think I start on Binks soon. So if you haven't seen the movie, I highly suggest it. It's a great movie. I used to watch it a lot when I was little. I actually watched it while I was sketching this, which is a common theme. All the ones that are based off movies, I watched while I was sketching them, like 100%. Because, you know, I wanted to get inspired, and it's like the easiest way to think, because otherwise I spend lots of time trying to think of ideas to give them for, like, tattoos and little details and stuff. So, yeah. Here I'm just adding in the ears. I think I fuck up soon. Yeah, there we go. I like dabbed it in too many places and then like his ear kind of exploded. But I'm like, oh well, that's what I get for dabbing too many places at once. So, yeah. Here I'm just adding in details of Binx's face. And outlining him a bit. Yeah, just kind of giving him more detail. Decided that his body was too far forward, so I had it a little bit further back. Going over his ears again just to make them match the rest of his body. I didn't think I went over him again, although he could have been a little bit darker. I can't remember if I did. Here I'm just adding in a little bit of hair texture. You can't really see much, but it does add a little bit of texture. Here I'm giving him a shadow, because he needed a shadow. At first I tried to give him like a shape shadow, but I'm like, that just looks really cartoony, so I just gave him a blobby shadow, because shadows aren't something I'm used to drawing, but I wanted to give him a go. So here I'm just adding in. The base colour to make the white stand out a bit more, and that's about it. I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video. Bye. So that, this is the end result of Inktober Day 9. You can see the glitter. I forgot to add in the details of the eyes, but I can't really, don't have time to go back in and fix it. So, oh well, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to take your brushes out of the water, and I'll see you next time. Read out.